Well, Laureus being 10 years old, we've come from uh, six projects in four countries to pretty close to 60 projects in 30 countries. So we've, uh, we've uh, grown a lot from the foundation point of view. I think the academy, the structure is there. Um, everything's gone quite well over the last 10 years. Well, initially when I went to Laureus uh, to the first annual meeting in Monaco, I thought that I was going to a traditional awards dinner and that would be it. Little did I know that uh, the whole situation would grow and have the potential for the growth that, that uh, we've all seen over 10 years. So um, in that respect, I am kind of surprised, but uh, watching and, and working with the growth of an organization has been uh, an experience. I think that the power of the 45 Academy members working together is really dynamic and uh, something that's very unique uh, in the world of sports and uh, philanthropy. So the, the, the Academy members have been very gracious with their time and uh, they make it a lot easier for me to, to manage um, the organization on their behalf. Well, there's, there's been a few project visits that, that uh, uh, are very memorable. I think probably the first one, Youth Sport Foil, when we went to uh, Northern Ireland and uh, we were there on 9-11, so we got stuck in Ireland during that uh, uh, few days and uh, working with the kids um, uh, and being sequestered with those kids for the next three days I think was very interesting and also the MISA project in uh, Kenya, which I think is a, um, um, it, it, uh, just from a human point of view, just to go there and see the conditions, I think was, is, uh, is an experience for anyone. And also to see the dynam dynamicism, dynamicism of, the, uh, of the type of work that they're doing there and how successful they've been. I, I really enjoy it because I think it's, it's an honor. Um, there's a lot of work that has to be done behind the scenes and uh, um, I do that work on behalf of the Academy members and uh, really make sure that they're going to have a good experience in being involved with, uh, with all the foundation work and any visits and anything that we ask them to do. I think that's a part of my, uh, my job more so than anything else. Well, when Nelson Mandela came to our first meeting, uh, and it was a total surprise when he walked in, I don't think that anyone was really ready for that. And uh, the inspiration that he's given our organization, I, I don't think that there's any, anyone else who, who could have done it in the manner in which he did. Um, the athletes certainly uh, have taken that message forward for the last 10 years, and everyone talks about it all the time. And uh, when we show our audio visuals, um, he's always there and I think it really just speaks of um, what the true power of sport is and how someone from his position uh, sees it, someone who's been the president of a country, how they uh, see, uh, see the power of sport.